Hello, this is Ella Fontaine from Crystal Queen and this is how to choose colors. One of the biggest questions we get asked by our clients is for help in choosing rhinestone colors for their project. So let's look at a very simple idea. We have a royal blue fabric here and we like to use three to four different sizes with our rhinestones and we also like to use two to three different colors. So here we have selected sapphire crystals in two sizes. We have the, uh, the 16 and the 30 in a sapphire, very similar color. We've gone to highlight it with the light sapphire in an SS20 size. And then we've added this interesting color here, the light sapphire AB, just to make it a little bit more interesting in a size 30. So you can really just play with the same tones of blue, but make it a little bit more interesting by using a highlight, maybe a special effect, and mixing up the sizes of the stones that you use. This can be applied to any color. So if I was using a fuchsia, I would use a fuchsia color rhinestone. I might use a, a rose, which is a little bit lighter shade of pink. And then I might use a rose AB or a fuchsia AB, or even have a amethyst, which is a much darker purple. It's about you go sticking with the color that you your main color, and then choosing a lighter or darker either side of it, or a special effect for something fun. So here is a little bit of basic color theory for you. So our primary colors are red, blue, and yellow on the color wheel red, blue, and yellow. You can work with those colors on your project. They work together very well, uh, or choose three of the, two of the three colors, red and yellow, yellow and blue, or blue and red are always winning choices. Secondary colors are made by mixing primary colors together. So mix red and yellow to make orange, red and blue to make purple, blue and yellow to make green. These are also color combinations that work really well in your project. Orange and green together, purple and green, orange and purple, or use all three secondary colors together. A fun way to get creative with your projects is to use complementary colors. Complementary colors are opposite colors on the color wheel. So green and red work well together, fuchsia and light green work together, purple and yellow, Gold and navy blue work well together. Peach and sapphire. Orange and aqua. And back to green and red. Or you could use a triadic color palette. So here we have the peach, the dark purple and the green. Try using orange, navy and light green. Our primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. Well, this is my favorite. This is a gold, a fuchsia, and an aqua. And thirdly, we have analogous. This is when you use three colors next to each other on the color wheel. So we have the dark orange, the red, and the fuchsia. You could try the fuchsia, the amethyst, and the montana, sapphire, aqua, and emerald, citrine, peridot, and emerald. The options are endless. And that is how to choose colors with Ella Fontaine at Crystal Queen. We would love to hear your feedback and we would absolutely love for you to share your design projects with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, email us. We would love to see them. If you have any feedback or questions or anything that you would like more advice on, please let us know.